I'm Dr Ranj. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well. Or you need to have a test. Or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. I'm in the outpatients department. This is where we see children for all sorts of different things. I've got a patient coming to see me today. I wonder who it will be. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Deep. When I go to the doctor, I tremble and I sigh. I'm a little quiet. I'm a bit shy, but Dr. Ranch is gentle. He always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be OK. So I can climb up to the castle and clumber down again, or snuggle with a storybook or sit and watch the rain. Cos Dr. Ranch is gentle. He always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be OK. Hello, Deep. Come and sit down. Hello, Dr. Ranch. Ooh, what have you been reading? It's a story about Davina, the detective. She solves mysteries. That sounds exciting. It was, and I solved the mystery even before she did, Dr. Ranch. Ah, oh, that's clever of you, Deep. Or should I say Detective Deep? <laughs> so, why have you come to see me today? Or is that a mystery too? Oh, no mystery, Dr. Ranch. I keep getting red bumps all over me. And they itch. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Those itchy bumps are called a rash. Oh. Why do I get this rash, Dr. Ranch? Well, that is a bit of a mystery. Oh. But I think you might have an allergy. Oh. The allergy might be what's giving you the rash. Your rash shows us that your body doesn't like something that you've eaten or touched. Oh, is my body being a bit naughty then? No, Deep. Our bodies do amazing things. Your body just got a bit overexcited about something it doesn't like. Oh, so what doesn't my body like this time? Well, oh. Deep, that's the mystery that we're going to try and solve together today. Oh, like a detective story. Detective Deep and the allergy mystery. <laughs> but how do we solve it, Dr Ranch? Well, we'll start by doing something called a skin prick test. Oh, no. That sounds like a injection, Dr Ranch, and I don't like injections. It's not an injection, Deep, although injections are nothing to worry about. Well, well what is it, then? To do a skin prick test, I need to put very tiny amounts of different things onto your skin. Then what? If your body doesn't like any of those things, it will make a very small red spot on your skin. Oh, I don't want any more red spots, Dr Range. <sighs> I know, Deep, but in this test, if a special red spot appears, it will give us a clue to help solve your allergy mystery. Then we can make you feel better. So what are you going to put onto my skin, Dr Range? I'll show you. Look. Each pot contains something called an antigen. Really? I've got an Auntie Jen too. Have you, Deep? Yes, Auntie Jen and Uncle Tony. <laughs> but Auntie Jen's too big to fit inside one of those pots. <laughs> antigen is the name given to something that causes your body to react. Oh. Some antigens don't do anything at all, but some can cause a reaction like your rash. So we need to find out which one does that. Exactly, Detective Deep. And you must never try to do this to yourself. Oh, OK. So, are you ready to do the test? And maybe we'll solve the mystery. Well, I think so. 
OK, first, I'm going to give your arm a clean. Ooh. And then I'm going to write some numbers on your forearm. Ooh. One, two, three, three four, four and five. <laughs> what are the numbers for, Dr Ranch? Where I've marked a number on your arm, I'm going to place a tiny drop of something. Oh, OK. Um, and what would you put on my arm, Dr Ranch? Today, we're going to test nuts, wheat, fish, tree nuts and egg. Ready? Well, OK, then. <sighs> nuts. That drop contains a tiny trace of nut. Oh. And now for the next bit. You might feel a tiny pinprick. Oh, dear. No. No, I hope it doesn't hurt. I'm not sure I'm ready yet, Dr Range. But I've already done it, Deep. Oh? Oh! <laughs> Didn't hurt, did it? No. Not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next, we have wheat. Oh! And then finally... Yes? We have egg. That's really funny. I can't believe there's a little bit of egg in there. There we go. All oh. done. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, what happens now, Dr Range? Now we have to wait 20 minutes to see if any of the areas of skin we've tested react. If they do, Detective Deep, we'll be one step closer to solving the allergy mystery. 20 minutes! <clears throat> Set the alarm, Dr Range. It's just a rash Or maybe it's just a sneeze Hachoo! Dr Range will do the test And check for allergies I'll check for allergies Itching on your arms and hands Or itching on your knees Just a sneeze. Dr. Ranjo, do the test and check for allergies. I'll check for allergies. That's 20 minutes gone, Dr. Ranch. That was quick. Well, then, let's have a look at the results of your skin prick test. Well, Dr. Ranch, have we solved the jellogy mystery? I think we may have, Detective Deep. Look. Mm. Where we've tested for nuts, wheat, fish and tree nuts, there's no red mark, which means... I don't have a jalogy from any of those things. You don't have an allergy to any of those. But look where we've tested for egg. Oh, yes. It, it's red and swollen. Which means that your rash was probably caused by eating eggs. Oh, wow. So my body doesn't like it when I eat eggs, which means... I have an egg allergy. Well done, Detective Deep. Looks like we've solved the allergy mystery. Oh, great. <laughs> but what happens now? Well, if you stop eating eggs, your rash will soon go away and you probably won't get it again. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you might also need to stop eating some foods that have egg in them, but we'll see how you get on. For now, you can definitely have a sticker. Oh, <laughs> I can't eat a sticker, Dr Ranch, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Good work, Detective Deep. Thanks. Goodbye, Dr Ranch. Bye, Deep. It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy and get well soon.
If you're not feeling well, it's always best to go and see your own doctor and get well soon.